Alright guys, it's been a while since we made a video, uh, a lot has happened, uh, I got a few new arms, these are uh, glazed prosthetics arms, these are 3D printed, so you have this arm, it's a passive arm, uh, like I said 3D printed, and this is their myoelectric version, so it allows you to hook up, you know, whatever hand you want on the end, or grife, or whatever the case may be. You can put Tasca, eye limbs, uh, B-Bionics, you know, uh, Covey hands, etc. You get the point. They'll go right on here, just like any other hand. So, how, how the process goes is you go to your normal prosthetist office. They fit you, all right? Measure you. They do the fittings with the, uh, the plaster and all that, you know how it goes. And they send the mold and the measurements to glaze. And they're out of Poland, I believe. So glaze gets your measurements and your, your mold. And they, I don't know what they do on their end to be honest with you, but they, they set it all up and the socket is 3D printed and your socket that was molded gets sent uh, gets fit right inside of the, the 3d printed arm okay now it's a really good cost-effective way of getting an arm I'll, I'll be honest with you it's very durable it's light uh, the quality of the finish is very good I, I wear this for work this arm sometimes and it's got some chipping on it and and so on and so forth it gets scratched it gets nicked chipping but i'm very abusive on my devices uh, i don't work behind a desk i work in construction basically uh so a lot of physical labor you know hand tools machines etc so if you're working indoors and you are at a desk or whatever the case may be or a teacher or whatever it is you're not going to hurt this you're not going to hurt it. It's going to stay new for a long time. So, I wear this arm. This is the myoelectric. Uh, <clears throat> this is the, the passive. I don't wear this a lot. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's like they say, everybody has their own preferences or what works for them. So, this arm comes with a passive hand all right it's just it is what it is it's just it, it barely flexes it's very rigid it's textured all right but it's good for somebody who may not have the best of insurance uh, and who just wants something to not uh, feel so uncomfortable if they go out you know some people don't like to go out without any kind of process on so this would be a good cost-effective uh, solution for them all right like me I, I like to have the electronic devices on they just works best for me uh, for what I'm doing but you know people look at this like it's worthless but it's really not you can once you start using this you could tie shoes with it you could grocery bags whatever the case may be you can carry that stuff so I'll show you what this can do. You take this, and it has a, a locking ring here. You turn, twist that, and this pops right off. So here's your hand. All right, that's the end. It's a little ball socket, and it just goes right into here. All right, they just go in. They just pop in, and you twist. Twist that like that, like so. All right. It also comes with this clamp. It's spring-loaded. Excuse these videos. I just wing all this stuff. I, I just wing it. I'm just using a GoPro, and the colors are horrible. But this hand or device, clamp, whatever you want to call it, is spring-loaded to always be closed. All right. Again, you look at it at first glance and you're like, what are you going to use that for? Nothing. But again, this will rotate on 
on this passive arm. Again, quarter turn, locked in. You can't twist it. So this will be good for shoelaces again, grocery bags, sh uh, if you're a woman, a purse. Uh, I'm sure you could steer a car with this. Don't try it. But, you know, you, you know what the deal. You know the deal on all this. You just got to play with it and see what works best for you. But all this has a has a, a place. So, again, quarter turn, pop it off. All right. Another thing that I really like about this arm is this little sliding door. may not seem like much. Just slide that, and it looks finished. Open it. That's your, your donning sleeve to pull through. All right. Both of them have it. Again, here's for your on and off switch on the system, the software that they're using for this arm. Cover it right up. Pull through, pull the arm on, cover up the hole. Just a neat little touch. A lot of times there's just a hole here or you have the uh, the valve like I have on this arm. The, uh, the one-way check valve, I call it. All right. Now, what else should I add to this? One thing that I find very crucial that I feel I should add is this is a skin fit, traditional carbon fiber, you know, fully custom. How well, they all are just fully custom, in-house build from my prosthetist office. All right. These were set up remotely, like I said. You send the measurements out, they print it out, and they send it back to you. Now, what I find with both of these glazed prosthetics arms is that they fit a little tight compared to what I'm used to. Now, that could be... There's so many factors to take into consideration with that that I don't really necessarily believe it's an issue with glaze or an issue with who I use for prosthetics, but, you know, they may have tighter tolerances, they may have looser tolerances. Whoever measured me for this arm may measure differently than whoever is setting up this arm. I hope that makes sense, but I just, I find these a little tight, all right? This always feels comfortable. This is more of a looser fitting arm, but it's still, it's there. It's not going anywhere, all right? So... I think that's something that I should add. And again, I'm not saying that is a glaze issue or my prosthetist office issue. You just got to keep in mind that there may be some tolerances. There's some differences there because you have multiple people working on the final end product. Okay. So what else can we add to this? Uh, I, I don't know. I think that's about it for this. Uh, you know, it's definitely good for a certain group of people. If you want something that's not as expensive, something that's uh, very durable. You know, this this uh, gloss color is. I can't scratch it. I can't even leave a. Uh, a dull spot on it with my finger, you know, scratching it with my nail. So it, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's very durable. Uh, you can pick all different, if you go on their website, Glaze Prosthetics, you can basically build these right on there and see what it would actually look like before you choose the colors. So this arm is matte, matte white, matte black. And this black pad here, is called something i don't know what it is but when you go on their website it has a name this ring here that circles the wrist and goes up into here this black ring that has a name this white piece has a ring this white piece has a ring this big black pad here has a name so you can choose all different colors there's so many different options for that so no two can really look the same uh so you can go from gloss to matte, you can go matte and gloss, matte gloss, 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 matte gloss, whatever you want. There's so many different possibilities. So that pretty much sums that up. Uh, 
any questions, feel free to, uh, you know, comment below. You know, please share this video. Check out My Electric Outdoors on Instagram. And uh, we have some more videos coming up. We have a uh, psionic ability hand that I just got to try for a few days. Uh, I'd like to do a, a review on that. Obviously, that's just an initial review. I don't have any long-term testing on it because I only have it for a few days. But I'm just waiting to hear back from Psionic on that if they don't mind me making a review. Uh, you know, we, this we've had this task for two years now. It's over two years, actually. I'd like to do a review on this. And uh, a lot more coming up. All right, so thanks for watching and stay tuned.